hello guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to take um a request um um that was made uh to me to do this uh personality and general tarot reading for nct doyong um and i was thinking like it's been a while since i done a personality and general reading for uh for a at the beginning of this year uh, I think I haven't done one um, so yeah I was I was like okay let's do this uh, let's uh, also let's give him a proper reading because I, I believe I always read for him when he's in groups uh, so yes let's begin with the cards that Doyon got he got the cards of the archetype that I'm going to be using he got the cards of a scribe, um, orphan, child, child, orphan child, and a Don Juan that it would be like, um, a, a sort of like a, a player kind of a card. Um, and, and uh, what is interesting is that the three of them came out in reversed. Uh, I usually don't read reversed. Uh, actually, I was checking out, you know, if I was like, uh, if I was uh, grabbing um, the the deck uh, on reverse, if, if I was uh, like grabbing it upside down. And actually, no, it was, the other cards were okay, except for these ones. So I find it interesting, actually. Um, and I decided to take it uh, this way. Um, honestly, I, I think that, that there's maybe uh, Doyon, when it comes to his archetypes or his personality, is, is someone that is like transiting a time in his life where probably he's, he's connecting a bit more with the his shadow self, you know, more like uh, adding more complexity to his behavior or his existence. You know, I think that probably he's also like uh, embracing this, you know, um, that um, there's complexity in his character and that sometimes he can feel like his energy is, is not that... Um, that clean, you know, th th there's complex to our personalities and and these archetypes uh, definitely are very interesting. Um, in the scribe in reverse, there's this sense of like, uh, you know, the scribe has to do with our power of creation and in, 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 in more in our power to, to write, create, uh, writing lyrics, writing poems, writing a story. Uh, maybe even writing down the story of our lives, like telling our story through words. Um, but I think that honestly, he could be feeling like he what he writes is not original, you know, and probably him feeling like, okay, I would want to write about myself. Like I would really want to maybe write more songs about me or write a song about me or write write something you know probably it's like i don't know maybe the fans know if he's a writer or not but there's something about the the ability to write that he's like he's not satisfied with with what comes out you know and, and i think that when this is in reverse he has the feeling that what he writes about it had been done before so so he feels a bit like stuck in that sense and, and a bit also guilty because he's like, okay, this is plagiarism, you know, this is a straight copy. And he feels like very frustrated because of this, you know, he's like, how come I cannot write something original? Um, and probably I would say that he, that, that he really puts the effort, that he really tries to do it over and over. But somehow what he writes is not original, you know, or it sounds like some like something that someone else has already done. 
and and for him right now his life is very hard to connect with um he wants to be unique or he wants to create something that reflects how unique he feels um but he just cannot find the words right now he feels a bit like frustrated with that um because possibly he has like a lot of desire you know to write to write maybe his own lyrics his own songs um maybe this is like a pendant uh, side of himself that he would he would wish he could display a bit more and show to to the others but um i don't know if maybe he had shown it to others or he had like presented it in the company and, and somehow it was rejected so there's something about feeling very frustrated about it like okay like okay this is I, I feel like this is like this sort of hidden talent that I have but I cannot come up with something good um, but definitely I think that, that it, it has to do with um, his vision of, of what others think about, about what he does you know I think that that maybe he should focus more about the joy of writing or how he, it makes him feel and use it like a practice and, and not so much like what the others are going to think about it. Um, and then with the, with the, with the orf orphan child, um, this is an archetype, of course, you know, this is not to say that he is indeed an orphan. Um, I think that that um, these this archetypes sometimes it 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 talks about how how lonely um, life is for us sometimes we, when we do feel like we are very different, especially when you when when you are in a in a group or or when you are in a school you know that like somehow feeling like you, you know a, a a bit like like no one gets you you know and and a bit um but since this is in reverse you know i think that it's about also dealing with or with the frustration and the anger or of feeling like uh, like an outcast or feeling like you are not taken seriously or that you are not appreciated enough. You know, I, I definitely see uh, this archetype being very, very angry sometimes, you know, and in, in, in really like um, he could have these moments where I wouldn't say like he lashes out at people, but if he does complain about something is because his inner child feels like an orphan, you know, and feels misunderstood by the group or by the the the, the group of people that is supposed is supposed to be there for him, you know, is supposed to give him this emotional support and actually um I think that for him it's like dealing with rejection or also feeling like he's inadequate, you know, that he doesn't, he's different from the others. So him feeling very like upset about it, you know, his inner child feeling abandoned, you know, feeling, and, and this is key, you know, feeling abandoned. And I know that, I know that Do Young is not, an orphan, I know he has family, but I don't know what what's going what goes on in that f family dynamic, or what goes on in his everyday life that that he just feels like he just desperately wants to belong, but there's always something that makes him feel like he doesn't belong. So there's a sense of his inner child feeling abandoned or his inner child feeling like an orphan in, in a world um, in, in a world where people just don't get him or don't don't just make the effort to get him, 
you know, I, I think that probably is about taking for granted that he should be this independent and resolutive person just because he is famous, you know, or he has a talent. Uh, I think that it's not the same being good at something or being talented or being an artist or being on TV. It's not not on TV, but, but be on the spotlight. It's not the same as being um, someone, you know, that is, uh, that has all the answers in life. You know, these are two different um, parts of his persona, you know, and probably he does feel uh, a bit lonely and misunderstood. Um, so that that is uh there is interesting that there, there is definitely a wound in there there's there's something that that probably he he thinks about it you know he thinks like how come this affects me so much and why do i react like that when i feel like i'm being rejected or when I, there's a sense of abandonment really like like uh, i'm supposed to feel included but i don't feel included like and, and probably it's not that literally he's not being included, but it, it has to be, you know, it can be just a, a, a saying or someone saying something to him or a word, a phrase or someone mocking him. And for him, it's serious, you know, for him, it gets, it, it triggers his wound, you know, he's like, oh, they say this because they don't like me. Or because they see that that there's something wrong with me, there must be something wrong with me, you know. So so I definitely see him like dealing with that frustration, uh, of of like I feel like an orphan here. Like I I definitely feel like 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 I don't know, no one cares, you know. Um, and, and definitely he has to he has to deal, he has to heal that, you know. There's something. Um, Probably, you know, he had been independent all his life, not, not relying so much on his family or not just not causing his family trouble and just like dealing with stress and dealing with, with uh, uh, life in general by his own uh, and being like, okay, I can do it, you know, trying to act very mature and very... Uh, like he has everything under control, but actually he's a very... He's a very sensitive and a scared child inside, you know, and 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 this is also very valid. This is this came out as part of him, um, because actually, you know, if you, if we think about about the orphan, you know, the orphan archetype, I I often also would think like, how w will this affect his relationships in the future? You know, if he feels this abandonment or if he feels like an orphan you know how how he how is he going to play this uh this archetype in his relationships you know is he going to be demanding is he going to expect his partner to take care of him or to take his uh take care of his needs or to be you know very probably someone that gets very uh very sad or very uh hurt you know very deeply hurt because i don't know maybe his partner doesn't answer his phone his 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 calls right away or his messages right away you know there's this feeling of like okay no one pays attention to me i feel lonely and i feel out you know so so i wonder how that that translate to him the man of today you know this archetype how how that how does he it play his relationships and also if he has relationships um how this orphan archetype um affects his uh his decision to have someone special in his life his his uh, him allowing himself to also open up and and being vulnerable and 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 starting a relationship or just like um just like ne not letting one in, not letting anyone in or being just closed off to to love you know because of this orphan um 
And then we have the card, the card of, of Don, Don Juan in reverse that is like a, the player, like um, I, I don't remember exactly the, the English translation of this card, uh, but Don Juan is like the typical the typical player, you know, the typical um, lover, you know, but but this very seductive, this 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 seductor, you know, this very seductive person, very um, that he just knows what the other one wants, you know, and he just becomes that. Uh, and usually, it's a very selfish person, you know, and, and I think that it's it's in reverse. It's also showing the shadow attributes, so. I think that definitely this talks a bit more about probably how he is in relationships, you know. Um, definitely uh, the card of Don Juan in reverse, it talks about a certain need to manipulate the your partner, you know, and, and also like knowing your attributes or knowing how what to do and how to be to seduce the other person or get someone to do what you want in a relationship, you know, in a bond. You know, him probably knowing how to seduce uh, his special someone or someone that he's interested in, uh, his girlfriend, his potential partner, you know. He just knows, like, even though he can act like he can be clueless sometimes i think that when it comes to very close and intimate connections he is someone that he knows how to seduce and he usually uses this seduction or uses his attractiveness or his um, attributes to get what he wants you know to get people to do what he wants um Definitely, this also uh, is is a, a, a need to control the other part. You know, to to actually be like, okay, like um, I'm seducing you because you know I want you to be mine, or or you know I want you to stay with me. So I'm going to display this charm, you know, this very charming side, so you stay by my side and you don't question. Uh, my intentions, you know, there, there's something about him that, you know, and I think that if I connected, I, if I connected with the orphan archetype and with the scribe being reversed, honestly, when I saw these cards, the first thing that I was like, oh my God, like, like, this guy's definitely, this guy definitely has l um, low self-esteem, you know, as a man. Um, and definitely there's something about his inner child being uh, very hurt by other people's words or opinions about him. You know, probably for uh, for fans or people that just love the young, you know, you maybe see him and you're like, but how come someone can say something bad about him or, or you know, a negative comment? Um, because he definitely is, is a very successful guy. But I think that that for him, you know, um, maybe he just takes words or opinion too seriously. And, you know, for him, for him are like uh, darts to his heart, you know. And probably he also grew up in a very in 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 a place where achievements were important and where. Uh, I don't know, maybe the people around him were very demanding of him or wanting him to be perfect and wanting him to make it and wanting him to stand out and, I don't know, get the higher grades or just being spectacular and perfect. You know, all about being like this high achiever. Um, and also, let's not forget that he is an idol. So there's also this pressure again. So I think that when I pull cards for him as, in a, as archetypes, trying to understand his personality structure now, and I see all these things in reverse, I'm like, oh my, like, like definitely he's, he's, he's in his shadow era. You know, he's in this part of his 
um, of his life and of his um, of his experience, where he is like maybe showing some a bit of uh, toxic traits of his personality. You know, being a bit more irritated, being a bit mar not being patient with himself or others. You know, being a bit like like you know nervous and and uh, you know a bit like mm, and and trying to control everything um but also you know being very seductive and being very um attractive you know and 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 it you know and, and also i when i think about the cards of of don juan in reverse i think about this sort of vampire concept you know someone that that you know that is dangerous and you know that it's not good for you but you cannot help but to feel attracted and drawn to that person so i think that he could be in his bad boy era you know like like really like challenging his perception of himself you know being like you know i'm, I'm feeling a bit a bit dangerous you know or i'm feeling a bit much more risky like I want to connect with my shadow self. I don't want to be uh, the good guy anymore, the good boy, the well-behaved boy. You know, I want to be different. Um, and also, you know, I, I pull cards from from uh, a card from the Oracle of the Radiant Sun, and I got the card of uh, Sun in Aquarius, and he sun is he sent a Sun in Aquarius. So you know, I was like, oh my. Uh, the coincidences. Um, and he got the card of Sun in Aquarius that is the card of idealism. So I think that if we think about, you know, another trait of the young is that he is indeed a true manifestation of an Aquarius. With his dark attributes and his light attributes, he at the end of the day, he is an Aquarius indeed. <laughs> and, and in this, there's a lot of idealism. You know, he probably... Um, he, in his search of who he is and, and his potential and what he can unlock in, his, in himself. He's very idealistic. He's a guy that he's very idealistic. He's always wanting to, to be more, you know, to be unexpected, to be, um, to open people's minds, you know. He's like, you know, I'm not... Um, uh, and maybe you you can have this art this archetype, but you have no idea of how complex I am inside. You know, like like we could be talking about his traits for an hour because he is indeed a guy that that he's in constant change, and he also is very brave because he's embracing that probably he's. He had been feeling a bit negative about himself lately. You know, probably there's something about him not entirely accepting himself, you know, him wanting to be different or him being a bit confused about what people want out of him. So he's, you know, he's trying. He's trying to, he's trying to please the audience, you know, and this is also a thing that it has to do with his, him being an artist, you know, him being like, okay, what does the the others want of me, you know, uh, but at the same time remaining idealistic about what he would want to achieve for himself. So, yeah. And then I pulled extra cards from the Tarot and he had the Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Three of Swords, and I'm sorry, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Three of Cups, and Two of Cups. So, I think that honestly this year is, is, um, it's a year that, uh, honestly, I, I see these cards here and I think about this, uh, his debut with, with Chaehyun and, and, and with uh, Jonggu. And, and I think that, that honestly, um, he was a bit hesitant about doing this debut, this debut with, with the other members. Um, because even though he had they had all the resources to do it, you know, and, and, and there was like a lot of prosperity around him. He also felt a bit confused about his career at one point, you know, because uh, I believe that probably because of the, of the, cha the changes in the company that had happened at the beginning of the year. 
it was a very confusing moment for him. You know, it was like probably he had his hesitations. He had his uh, his fears and he was like, is this a good idea? You know, uh, probably him hesitating a bit. Um, and, and this is why I think that probably he's not that secure. You know, I definitely, the cards that I see is that indicate that he has it all to actually succeed. But sometimes he just uh, finds himself doubting a lot. You know, doub doubting his value, doub doubting himself. Um, he's like, oh, will I be able to pull this off? Uh, you know, uh, him being uh, blinded by insecurities. But at the end, you know, we have the card of celebration and we have the card of unity. So I think that, that for him, um, you know, this was, this is a, a moment that he's going to be grateful that he actually was able to overcome his fears and actually just go for it and just like, um, you know, I was able to do this 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 project with with the other members because he he just was able to celebrate. You know, he's able to celebrate this. This was a success, and at the same time, I think that it got him closer to the other members, to the other two, to Taehyun and 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 Jungwoo. You know, and he 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 found he finds out that because they had this unit, the three of them together, that he was able to get a bit more close to them. You know, even though they had worked together and they are part of a team, the the fact that it's just the three of them is special, you know, and it feels more intimate. And I think that this is what happens with the young. Do Young needs one on one conversations. Do Young needs, like, you know, very intimate reunions. You know, probably, yes, he's an Aquarius and he has a lot of Aquarius energy, but at the same time, yeah, he's a group guy, but he's a teamwork kind of guy, but sometimes he just cherished intimate connections. You know, um, he just wants to like have this special moment to talk to a selective group of people and being able to connect you know and not get distracted because there's a lot of people talking at the same time and and you know and or always the the same ones getting all the attention or the same ones always initiating the conversation or the same ones like uh, taking the initiative, you know, he's like, you know, I crave connection. I crave connection. I crave intimacy. This is what he wants. And this is the key to actually get to know Doyon as a person. If you have this possibility to get him along, you know, to, to get him um, to have his own interview or have his interview with a, 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 a reduced number of people, you know, then, or, or get him, you know, to have this interview alone. This is when you're going to get the real Doyoung. You are going to get, because sometimes he feels pressure by the group of people that he surrounds with. He feels pressure by, by the group. Um, and, and when you get him by himself, he's a different kind of guy. So, and, and, and he's a guy that definitely he craves intimacy, he craves a, a connection. Um, and I think that this is what he's going to achieve this year. This year he's going to finally get a proper connection with someone. There could be love on the way for, for Doyon. There could be, you know, a very healing connection for Doyon this year. Uh, but yes, first he has to enjoy and celebrate uh, this great year that he had with his uh, with his members and with everything. It's going to be a year to celebrate. So yeah, he shouldn't like doubt himself because this was this was a great decision. Um, so yes, guys, this is all I have for him. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you would want 
me to continue with the personality readings, you know, you can leave your recommendations in the comment section. I would appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.